far as the origami here. To make this flicker, you'll need a piece of six by six inch square sheet of paper. I designed this model five days ago and I'm gonna teach you how to fold it. First step is to fold diagonally in half, but don't crease. Just pinch somewhere at the middle, unfold, and then do the same thing the other direction. So now we have a midpoint here. Now we need to fold to that midpoint and crease sharply. Now let's fold a blend space. Align the edges and repeat on all sides. We should have something like this. Now let's unfold complete completely and let's fold this edge to this crease. But don't crease too sharply. Just crease with your thumb without your fingernail. Now let's fold this edge to that crease. Make sure the 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 point aligns with these the this intersection of creases. Now we need to crease sharply. Now let's repeat on this direct this direction, but just fold through the whole layer with your thumb then fold up to that crease. Now let's repeat on this side. Fold up to that crease and just lightly crease it and fold this edge to the newly formed crease. Now repeat on this side here. You basically just need to repeat them on each flap. Now let's do it on this side. And on this side, and on this flap. Now, last time, here. No, we should have <coughs> something like this. Now let's fold all the flaps in along the existing creases here <clears throat> and we should have something like a star here mm -hmm. 
remake the creases. And now let's split space again. Fold this point to the middle. Make sure these layers don't get scrunched up when you fold or else when the model comes out it's not going to be that neat and it won't fly as well. Fold the next flap to the middle and the next flap. And the last flap here. Now let's unfold two flaps on the sides, turn over. Now we need to bring this edge and fold it to the midpoint, but let this flat, flap swing out. And creep sharply below it or else we'll leave a mark on this paper, which we don't want. And repeat on this side. These edges here should align. And let's unfold this side completely. Now flip over and fold these two, the next two flaps in. And we need to repeat the same process on this side. Like that. And on this side too. So we have something like this. Now unfold completely. And let's start by pleating this flap in on the existing creases that we just made. Now, I'm gonna lock it. Now, let's pleat on the next flap here and on the next one. It's gonna get kind of thick here, but just crease it down. So we have some of this, something like that. Now let's do the last edge here and unfold. Now this is the hardest part of the model. You want to partially unfold this flap like that and make this crease extend to here and then Make your next crease extend from this point to this point. It's like the other flaps we did here, but you're just doing bringing two flaps together, kind of. So I made this crease. Now I like to just push this flap in, tuck it into this pocket over here. So, tuck this flap in, fold along that edge, and it should kind of collapse. Like that. 
I'm going to redo it again right now. If you guys didn't get it, that was kind of unclear. So if you, you've already finished it and you, you've you done it, then just skip ahead. So I'm going to unfold right now. And I'm going to do it again. So, put pleat in the first flap here. Pleat in the second flap, like that. And the third flap. Now, let's do the last flap. Unfold the last flap and partially unfold this flap. Like that. Now let's make this fold here, the first fold. And then now let's make the second fold here and make it into a valley. I like to pinch from the back sometimes makes it easier to lock it. Now just tuck this flap in into here. Now remake this crease here and remake this crease here. And it should just lock together and flatten. So we have something like this. Now the last flap is just to tuck these flaps in, which is really easy. So put your finger inside the pocket here. There should be two. this pocket here and there's another pocket here we want to stick it into the big pocket here so just take this flap and just take use your finger to push it in make sure it's neat or else it's not going to fly well like that there's a little bit of flap showing here it's okay and now let's do it on the second Flap here, the third, and the fourth. Now let's just make, remake the creases. It's kind of a neat like this. It looks kind of messy. Don't worry, because this always happens when you lock it. It's not gonna turn out perfect. The best I made it was this one. It was pretty clean, but it's kind of hard. Now the model is finished, voila. Now you just need to learn to fly it. So to fly this flicker, you need to hold it on this edge, on this point, and you need to hit it on this edge, on this flap, here. So it should fly something like this. That went downstairs. But it was a pretty good flight. So, yeah. That's how you fold my origami flicker. See you guys later. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe down below. Bye.